Okay, today, today we're going to talk about balance, okay, in the golf swing. A lot of people struggle with keeping that head still and wobbling around. They hit fat, you know, they have all sorts of problems with contact. Well, it's because we're not balanced in the swing. So what is balance? I'm going to change your perceptions of balance. I'm going to make you aware of your balance. If I stand straight up and I have my feet basically underneath my armpits, I'm nice and, nice and centered, um, and I have a little knee bend. If I take my palm and I do a palm strike type piston, type piston move down towards my front foot, I feel weight go into my heel. That's where I have my weight and my swing in my heels. In fact, I jam my heel up against my shoe on the outside part of my shoe, and then I feel that weight and pressure all go into that outside heel. If I were to do it with my opposite hand, same thing, you'll feel and be aware of weight going into your foot and hopefully you have it go to a little bit towards your heel. Okay? So this way and this way. Alright? So why is it important? Well, as I come down with my arm here and unfold, and I have palm up, elbow here, and I'm going to do this piston move through and be turning like this towards the wall. And the wall is going to come up from that line from my foot up this way. What I want to feel is pressure going into my heel, okay? Your head stays over this right knee back here like this. We'll say, well, how do you keep that axis? Well, it's that simple. I mean, basically, I'm going like this, making the piston move, and I feel it into the heel, and then I let the weight of my arms, which is 40 pounds, come around like this. The forces with the club is even higher. Yeah, 400 to 800 pounds of force coming around, you know, at high speed. But another thought that you could do, all right, you have the elbow joints, right, right here. These elbow joints never break the wall. They come right to the wall, and your arms, your forearms, are the only thing that go through the invisible wall, which the drill is so important, that's why. It gives you balance. If this front elbow simply circles over your point of balance, which is the heel, as I'm going back with the swing and forward, this moves around that heel, and then this, as it extends the elbow, also moves around the heel. So you end up looking like this. It's a very natural move. Your head can stay right here. You know, on this side of the body, your axis turns this way. So, it's like this. All of a sudden, it's very easy to get balance. It's Ben Hogan's throw the ball. You know, he did it this way. Those elbows, though, must stay on the wall of the center of your set of balance point of your heel. So it's like this. So it's very easy to keep them balanced, and it's all about face contact. So I can't have good face contact if I don't have the balance. So I'm not wobbling around. A lot of people do with this. Feels powerful. It's not. You're really not in the greatest position to hit a ball that's going to be somewhere here. You're kind of wobbling this way. It's okay if you hit the ball and then come like that. And you'll see pros do it. But it's easier just to keep that head back. All good players keep the head back. These elbows move around that point, and then you release everything after it's all straightened out here. Come on. So it's uh, just a point to be aware of. Uh, balance is everything. And is that your center of balance? Not exactly, but it'll give you a good idea of what you're trying to turn around. And if you think of it in terms of the elbows, it's a very simple move. Another thing people do. Basically, people ask, well, you don't slide. Well, I have a bad hip. This hip is awful from a football injury when I was young. So Lee has the wall, and you'll see him 
goes back and you slide this way and then turn. Nothing wrong with that. In fact, it feels powerful. I don't do it because I, this hip is injured. So I don't go back. I go back the same way, but I move forward the same way. Uh, he goes maybe four inches forward, two to four inches. I only go one to two, so you can bump this way. You get a nice turn this way. There's nothing wrong with that. It feels very powerful. And then straighten your arm, but the same thing applies. The elbows move over that point of pressure, just the outside of it, and this. So it's this. And it's very easy to take, keep your balance that way and you look real smooth. There's no wobbling. There's no um, sliding into the wall. There's no this going on. You know, you have your, put your heel against the side of your shoe. Keep uh, weights. I do 50-50, but you could go 60-40 into here. No problem. Slide if you want. But don't break that wall. Okay? And then just... Turn your nose a little bit towards that same point of balance up here, right? And you'll have this beautiful motion, and it makes it real easy to hit the ball every single time. You're controlling that low point. You control the face with your palm. You'll match up like this. Control it with your palm, and guess what? position. I can slide into it if I wish. I use my elbow joints to move around that point and I look like this. It's really powerful. You're in balance and you'll hit the ball really, really well. Uh, try that for people who are struggling with it and you'll, uh, you'll see it works. Now, when I play, do I think like that? No. No, absolutely not. I'm not aware of any of that. But I've practiced it all enough for second nature. I shut off. And we'll go into that into another uh, video. It's about being aware, but then you let it go. You let it all the mechanics go. So I'll review the mechanics. Um, I'll get you in good balance point. I'll draw a little bit of... Um, video um, on this to show the wall. In fact, I'm going to make a demo now <coughs> that we'll add to in a, in a follow-up video, and I think it'll make some sense. Um, I hope it does. And people won't struggle with it. They won't top. Um, but if you are topping, it's your balance. You want to be here and here. Just around. On this side, it looks like this. I want to be here. here. And then let's do it for real. Here. Anyway, that's how it's done. I'll uh, speak with you later. Bye.